Hey guys, if you struggle with tilting, giving up, pessimism, or any other aspect of a negative or weak mentality in Valorant, you will greatly benefit from my new mentality course on Patreon. You can find that link in the top description below. I cover all of those topics of mentality and much more. Uh, it's about a two hour video. Enjoy this video and see you guys in the next one. Hey guys, today I'm gonna be showing you how to get graphics settings to make your PC or to make your Valorant look like mine. A lot of people have been commenting recently, wow, your game looks very pretty, your colors look amazing. I have actually made videos on this in the past, but um, that's okay, I'm gonna show you guys again because a lot of you are asking. And also I'm gonna show you my graphic settings and how to find good graphic settings for your PC, for your setup, okay? So we're on my desktop here because first I'm going to show you how to uh, make your, your game look really pretty and also just kind of your desktop. So you need a, uh, an Nvidia graphics card for this one, so if you don't, I don't know if there is one for AMD graphics cards, but here you're going to right click on your desktop, click NVIDIA control panel, and it'll take a second, but it will pop up here. And after you do this, you're going to go to adjust display uh, or adjust desktop color settings. And down here, there's the setting called digital vibrance. Personally, I have this all the way up, so I don't know if you guys can see this. But whenever I, I don't think you can't see it, but you guys can play around with this yourself. And as you see, whenever you go up, I'm pretty sure it starts at 50. Whenever you go up past 50, it becomes extremely colorful. And I really like all the colors. So this is how you change the colors. And I'll see you guys in the Valorant menu. All right, guys, so jumping right into Valorant. If you don't know how to get to the graphics quality uh, tab, you hit escape and go to video. And then graphics quality is right here. So the first thing I'm going to show you is going to be a little bit out of order because I want to emphasize the most important things for kind of like looks or to make your game look really fancy. And so that's gonna be improved quality and exper experimental sharpening. These two settings are really amazing. Um, so here you can see with, with them on, here you can see with them off, everything kind of looks a little more blurry and everything kind of looks like it's more blended together. And in a game like Valorant, I really like things to kind of pop out because obviously, as you can see, like it's a big difference, especially this experimental sharpening one. Um, the clarity makes everything just a little bit clearer, I think, but I really like these settings. I'm not sure if they influence FPS super negatively or not, but I would recommend just kind of trying them seeing how they work out for you um, But yeah, so these two are really great. I would highly su suggest those one thing I do want to mention before we continue is I do have a higher-end PC So I have a 3080 and I have an 8700 K so keep that in mind I have a pretty good PC, but I still do play on lower settings Which we'll talk about here in a second, but there are some settings you might want to change if you have a lower-end PC, okay? So first thing is multi-threaded rendering. This is basically if you have a good GPU and you turn this on, it will boost your CPU's performance. But if you do not have a good GPU, you want to turn this off, okay? So make sure that you understand that. If you know that your GPU is kind of older or not as good, make sure you turn it off because it's not going to help you out, okay? I think it'll probably hurt you actually. So now moving on, um, I, again, I have a pretty good PC, but that does not mean that I want to play on all high settings. Um, for these four here, these are all quality settings, and I, these are the main settings actually. I keep the first three on low. Um, these three influence FPS the most. There's actually one of these three that doesn't influence FPS that much, but I can't remember. If you guys would like to find that out, you can Google it. But uh, UI quality I keep to high because it, I know for a fact that it does not influ influence FPS that much, and it keeps like your, you know, your abilities, your, your ability icons nice and clear, which I like. Um, but the reason that I like to play on lower FPS or on lower quality settings is because you can get a lot of extra FPS whenever you do this. And again, if I'm playing like a single player game, I'll crank all these up and everything will look amazing and beautiful and that's great. But in a competitive game where I care about winning and, you know, I care about winning more than the looks, I'll, you know, I'll value FPS over uh, beauty any day, right? And so, you know, more FPS equals more smoothness. More smoothness means you can win more fights more consistently and it just helps you win basically. It makes you, make, helps you become more consistent. Also, if you have a 144 Hertz monitor or higher, uh, this also matters. You also want more frames, okay? So it's gonna make everything feel smoother. Again, UI quality you can have on high. Uh, vignette, this is basically a black ring around the monitor. Um, I think it says to like help you focus in the center of the screen. That to me, I don't really like it on. I don't really see a big difference, but if you guys do like that for some reason, you can absolutely keep that on. I don't think that'll influence FPS that much at all. V-Sync, I like to have off just because, you know, I really want to maximize my frames. Um, unless the only reason you'd want to keep V-Sync on is if, you're, if your PC is kind of bad and it's like stuttering and you get massive FPS, dro FPS drops because V-Sync should help with that. But for me, I, again, I have a pretty good PC and it's not going to matter for me that much. So if you know you have a good PC, you don't have to worry about it either. Next, we have anti-aliasing. 
Um, I like to keep this on, it's kind of like, this is basically like a low setting. If you want to go higher, you can go to FXAA, but again, we want to prioritize frames here, so even if you have like a, I could turn this to none, but again, I have a good PC. If you have a lower PC, you could go to none. Um, Enesotropic filtering, I like to keep this right in the middle at 4x. I think this is like how many cubes are in things or something like that, I'm not 100% sure, so don't quote me on that, but... I uh, actually don't know what either of these mean too well, but I do know that this is kind of on the lower end and this is in the middle. So if you have a lower end PC, then you can go to 1x if you really want, or even 2x. Um, you can go even higher if you want, but again, you, wanna, you really want to value FPS in these types of games. So again, now we're back down to improved clarity and experimental sharpening. I would highly suggest just kind of experimenting with these because it really does make everything look very beautiful um, and also kind of pop out, which helps you kind of focus when you play. Helps you kind of become more conscious, more aware of your surroundings. So for these last three, uh, I like to keep all of these off. I'm pretty sure some of them negatively influence the game, your, your performance, but also I remember watching videos and they explained that they're not good. So I always keep these off. For these bottom five, just the top two you went on. So hopefully this video helps guys. If you have any questions about any of these settings, let me know in the comments down below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.